During the month of September this year, Goshen decided to extend its First Friday's theme of self-care for the whole month, making it Self-Care September in downtown Goshen. Globe News spoke with licensed clinical social worker Jennifer Miller about what self-care is and its importance. I think about self-care as all of the things that we do to um, maintain good health and and to improve our well-being. And so everyday activities, like um, things that you find fun and relaxing and what energizes us are all part of self-care. And I don't think we could live without it. We also talked with part owner and instructor at Spacious Heart Yoga, Liz Shank, on how mindful exercise can help with self-care. So September is uh, self-care month, and it also happens to be National Yoga Month. Um, And yoga and exercise are um, really great ways to not only improve your physical health, but also to improve your mental health as well. Um, When you exercise uh, through a mindful way, like with yoga or tai chi or meditation, then you're also helping to decrease stress in the body um, and increase flexibility, increase wellness, and overall well-being. Miller also warns on calling anything self-care. If it's something unhealthy or harmful, it doesn't really count as self-care. So if you're, you know, using substances or overeating or um, doing some kind of addictive or self-harming behavior, pornography or gambling or something, that doesn't really qualify. I mean, It probably does in the short term help you feel better or like relieves the the emotional distress of the moment. But really the long term effects are more harmful than they are helpful. More info about self-care September can be found at downtowngoshen.org. For Globe News, I'm Zachariah Begley.